What's up guys? I wanted to make a video on my lens collection as of 2023. Um, I feel like there's a lot of these videos out there. Most of the time they're made with much higher budgets than like a regular person. So I have a very reasonable list of lenses to show you. The first one is the uh, 17 to 28 Tamron um, f2.8. That's the one I'm filming this video with right now. I bought this lens like right around when it came out for uh, whatever retail was. I'll put that on here. It was my workhorse lens for a long time. It's not the sharpest, it's not the fastest, but it's very good for the price. Until recently, I'll talk about the lens soon that's been on my camera since I bought it. I highly recommend checking these out because you can get them used now for anywhere from like $500 to $600. I think even retail, they're under $800 potentially. I'll put that price here too. The next lens is an old lens, but I bought this one used. Let me put this mic somewhere. This is a new to me lens. I bought this used at our local camera store. Um, this is the 90 mil macro Sony. I haven't had this lens as long, but I bought it specifically because it works very well for portraits. I sometimes shoot weddings. Um, this works great for that, both filming and photos. And then I obviously do a ton of product stuff. So the macro comes in extremely handy. These sell used for, I think I paid 800 bucks for this. Um, highly recommend checking these this lens out. Next is probably my least used lens, but when I use it, it's like the perfect combination. Um, this is the 100 to 400 Sigma variable aperture. It's f five to six point three my wife actually got this for me a couple years ago uh, around the time it came out um, this works great for the zoo um, I've used it on a couple wedding shoots I use it a lot for I shoot a lot of um, races like half marathons and marathons and ultra marathons um, so it comes in handy for those that 400 um, as long as you put it on a tripod or use a fast body I don't have any issues with the f5 to 6.3 um, these also are very affordable I think new it was a thousand dollars and it's been out for a couple of years so I bet you can get it even cheaper and last but not least this was probably my most expensive lens on the list don't quote me on that um, but I also bought this used for my local camera shop and it is the Sigma 24 to 70 um, f2.8. I originally rented this actual lens from the shop because I didn't have the lens I wanted to try out. Um, and then I ended up falling in love with it on a trip. Um, this thing has been my workhorse since I bought it. It hasn't left my camera. 24 to 70 is a perfect focal range. It works relatively where, well works relatively well for products um, cars weddings it's a very well-rounded lens and if you're wondering what all these are these are the uh, the helix maglock filters these are the caps that you these are the base plates you keep on your lenses um, take this cap off here take the back cap off of the filter throw the filter on and then take the cap off super seamless this is the cp filter um, this also doesn't leave my camera bag it's on my lenses 90 percent of the time it's my goal to start doing more youtube videos so if you like what you saw hit that like button subscribe and hopefully you'll have some new videos soon